Hello there, everybody. Adam Cleary here with some news on last Friday's greatest Royal Rumble. And, uh, <laughs> oh, this is a good one. So we are just a few days removed from greatest Royal Rumble, the grandest, most eye-catching, most spectacular wrestling event that might as well have never happened. And a bit of news is coming out about the setup and the agreement the Saudis had with WWE. Speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, big banter Dave Meltzer revealed that during the negotiations, the current Crown Prince, presumably he means the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, implored WWE to bring a number of very specific wrestlers with them to take part in the Rumble. Those top stars he wanted to see, The Ultimate Warrior and Yokozuna. You, yeah, you probably noticed that they, they weren't on the show. Just in case that one might have gone slightly boo over your head, WWE were unwilling and unable to fulfill this request on account of both men being very, very dead. Warrior tragically passed away in 2014, mere days after his Hall of Fame induction, while Yokozuna has been dead for the sum total of 18 years, following an incident in a hotel room in Liverpool. He also apparently asked for The Undertaker, who I guess is also dead, sort of, and he of course was involved in that casket match, the highly confusing build-up to that casket match with Rusev. Meltzer also goes on to say that Hiroki Sumi, a man so obscure that even WWE.com themselves ran an article asking who the f*** he was, was apparently included in the Rumble as a substitute for Yokozuna. Now, whether they were deliberately trying to pull the wool over the Saudi prince's eyes, look, that's kind of him, isn't it? Or whether it was just a like-for-like -like replacement is at this stage <laughs> unclear. Supposedly, the prince also asked WWE to bring the guy with the crown and the guy with the hat. No, not King Ross and Jack the Jobber, but Jerry Lawler and good old JR, who are very much alive. So yes, that's the news, and the greatest Royal Rumble continues to be one of the most bizarre sources of wrestling banter since Hulk Hogan's Twitter account. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, my name's been Adam Cleary, and I'll see you soon. That's it, though. But it might be.